embarking on a thrilling adventure, a brave crew of five souls set sail in the vast waters of the North Atlantic on June 18, 2023. Guided by the incredible Titan Submersible, a marvel of engineering, their destination was the haunting wreckage of the Titanic, hidden beneath the depths off the rugged coast of Newfoundland, Canada. Led by Stockton Rush, a maverick pilot and the CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, these audacious explorers included Hamish Harding, a British billionaire known for his extreme adventures, Paul Henry Narjolet, a former French Navy commander and Titanic expert, and Shazada Dawood, a Pakistani-British entrepreneur and philanthropist, accompanied by his son Suleiman Dawood. Together, this extraordinary crew shared a deep passion for deep sea exploration and aerospace supported by their notable achievements and financial resources. Ocean Gate's titanic expeditions aimed not only to cater to deep sea tourism, but also to advance research and unravel the mysteries of the titanic wreck and its surroundings. Dick Barton, a British diver who explored the titanic, vividly described the challenging water currents and the immense power required to navigate in such depths. When you're deep in the ocean, conserving power becomes crucial for survival. Your power source becomes your lifeline and your guide. In the event of a catastrophe forcing the crew to abandon the submerged pod, the situation becomes critical. During an expedition in 2022, reporter David Pogue uncovered that passengers on the Titan must sign a waiver acknowledging the experimental nature of the vessel. The waiver explicitly mentions the potential risks involved, including physical harm, disability, emotional distress, and even death. Mike Reese, a TV producer and participant in the expedition, noticed the unsettling mention of death three times on the first page of the waiver. Safety concerns had been raised before, as the Titan had already completed three expeditions to the Titanic wreck site. During one dive in 2022, the ship lost communication, raising doubts about the reliability of the Titan submersible. Stockton's ingenious solution kept the expedition going, but there were other issues encountered during the dive. One of the Titan's thrusters had been accidentally installed backward, causing the submersible to spin in circles when attempting to move forward near the seafloor. Step aboard the Titan, a petted teardrop-shaped submersible that may lack the grandeur of a naval submarine, but its uniqueness promises an unforgettable journey. With room for five occupants, this extraordinary vessel ditches traditional seats for a tiny toilet and a singular porthole window, offering an intimate connection with the underwater world. Despite its limitations for prolonged stays or unassisted port arrivals, the Titan's allure lies in its pursuit of deep sea wonders. Equipped with just 96 hours of oxygen, every moment on this 10-hour journey counts. The crew relies on a text messaging system to communicate with the mothership, the Polar Prince, as GPS is rendered useless in these depths. The crew's passion and determination, fueled by their diverse backgrounds, created a strong sense of camaraderie among them. They embarked on a united quest to uncover the secrets of the Titanic and explore the uncharted depths of the ocean. As the Titan descended into the abyss, the crew prepared themselves for the haunting and tragic beauty that awaited them at the Titanic wreck. They felt a mix of trepidation and excitement, knowing they were about to embark on a journey few had experienced before. Little did they know that this expedition would push their limits and reshape their understanding of the mysteries held by the deep sea. As the Titan ventured deeper into the darkness, the echoes of the Titanic's past resonated, and the crew eagerly braced themselves to bear witness to history and face unforeseen challenges. However, the story didn't end there. Now, let's travel back to 2018 when the anticipation surrounding Ocean Gate's ambitious project, Titan, began to raise concerns. William Conan, a respected member of the International Industry Group, expressed his worries in a letter addressed to Stockton Rush, which highlighted concerns about Ocean Gate's experimental approach and the proposed expeditions to the Titanic wreckage. The industry, primarily focused on safety, questioned the lack of oversight and disregard for established standards. However, OceanGate's independent approach raised red flags within the industry. 
William Conan, and Stockton Rush had a conversation where they agreed to disagree on the matter. David Lockridge, a former director of marine operations at OceanGate and an experienced submarine pilot, raised concerns about the safety of Titan, the company's submarine. In a 2018 lawsuit, Lockridge alleged that he was terminated for expressing worries about the insufficient testing of the carbon fiber hull. He advocated for involving a classification agency to ensure proper inspection and certification, but his warnings were disregarded. OceanGate, however, countered Lockridge's claims, stating that they relied on acoustic tests to detect safety issues and accused him of contract violation. Eventually, the case was settled out of court in 2018, leaving lingering uncertainties about the safety of Titan. The deep-sea submersible Titan descended into the ocean depths on June 19, 2023. However, as the team ventured deeper, a sense of dread enveloped them. Communication abruptly ceased at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time, leaving the crew trapped in the submersible, their excitement turning into fear. An urgent search and rescue mission was launched, with the United States Coast Guard and Royal Canadian Air Force joining forces. The vastness of the ocean, harsh weather, and limited resources posed immense challenges. The search covered a massive area of 10,000 square miles, but the remote location and frigid waters hindered progress. The presence of an acoustic beacon on the submersible remained uncertain, adding complexity to the mission. The search and rescue efforts were further complicated by the lack of suitable underwater vessels. It became a race against time and nature to locate and rescue the missing submersible. As the days went by, the tension mounted, and on June 20th, a crucial shipment of equipment arrived at the site of the Deep Sea Energy Pipeline. Remotely operated vehicles specially designed for extreme seabed depths were brought in accompanied by the tireless efforts of the U.S. Coast Guard. The search seemed like finding a needle in a haystack until a glimmer of hope appeared on June 22nd. The Canadian flagged offshore tugboat MV Horizon deployed the Odyssey's 6K remotely controlled vehicle, capable of exploring the seafloor. The French also joined the rescue operation, utilizing the Victor 6000 remotely controlled vehicle which could transmit images from the depths to the surface. In a breakthrough moment amidst the darkness, the Horizon Arctic's remotely operated vehicle made a grim discovery, an underwater debris field near the Titanic wreck, containing fragments confirmed to be part of the missing submersible, the Titan. The submersible's loss was attributed to an exploding pressure chamber, leaving behind remnants on the seafloor. Sadly, Heartbreaking news followed as Admiral Mulgard expressed doubt about the possibility of recovering the bodies of the five crew members. The inhospitable depths of the ocean made it highly unlikely. It is believed that the crew tragically perished on June 18, 2023, before any potential SOS signals could be detected. In a tragic turn of events, the submersible's implosion sent a powerful and detectable sound through the water possibly picked up by stoner buoys. Margaret, having considered the circumstances, believed that the crew perished instantly. As Ocean Gate came to terms with this devastating reality, they released a statement expressing their condolences for the lives lost. Although debris from the submersible was recovered, the bodies of the five crew members may never be found. This heartbreaking prospect has left the victims' families in deep sorrow. The search and rescue operation pushed the limits of human capabilities and available resources. The hostile deep sea environment, with its darkness and immense pressure, claimed the lives of these courageous individuals. Only fragments remain as a tragic reminder of their ill-fated expedition, forever swallowed by the unforgiving ocean.